Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So in my previous video, we had a quick look at the latest Oxygen OS 10.3.1 update for OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 60 and I promised that I'll review the update after 48 hours of usage. So in this video, let's take a quick look at the update. And in this video, I'm going to tell if the mess created by OnePlus in Oxygen OS 10.3.0 update is resolved or not. So without further delay, let's get started. So I've started a Telegram channel to keep you guys notified about the latest videos and also to help you out way better than on YouTube comments. So go ahead, join me on the Telegram from link in description area. So let's get started with the video. So first of all, the issue with the camera app not showing up images in the gallery has been fixed in this update and everything in that arena feels normal. Also, some of you had issues with the inbuilt screen recorder while recording gameplays. So I tested it out with PUBG and yes, that has also been fixed with this stable update. So that's a good thing. Secondly, the heating issue while charging with the dash charger has also been fixed in this update. And I did not face any random reboots or app crashes and everything went smooth. So that's a big thumbs up from my side. Now coming to the display calibration. This was a major issue with the previous version of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 60. And it feels a lot better after this update, at least in the vivid mode. The colors look great, but in normal mode, they still look washed out. And I don't know why, but I hope it gets fixed soon with another update. And yes, the notch settings are as it is, so no changes have been done in them. But I still feel that it can be improved like it was in the stable Pi firmware. Now coming to the camera department. The random freeze issue from the previous version of Oxygen OS is fixed in this update. And the shutter speed is also quite fast. And the app doesn't crash like it used to. Last and most important aspect of this update, the battery life. So the battery life seems to be better than 10.3.0 update. In Oxygen OS version 10.3.0, I used to get 4 hours at max on medium to low usage with high standby rate. And that is why I switched over to a custom row. But after the latest 10.3.1 update, the battery life is good. I got around 5 hours of screen on time with light to medium usage and standby drain was also minimum. Here are the screen on times that I got. So these were my observations after this update. And keeping in mind the overall stability, I would like to rate it 4 out of 5. I deducted a point for not so good display calibration and those notch settings. Well they are simply bad. So if I find any other issue with this update, I'll let you guys know in the comment section below. And feel free to ask any questions if you have. So do subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.